Welcome to Bletchingdon slash Bletchingdon, uh, a bit like column A, column B. Uh, we're here for our annual trip to Oxford, uh, where last night we hammered uh, everybody in the pub. Well, who was it? Dale Collins. Dale Collins pub quiz. Go to it if you get the chance, once a month. Uh, we've got uh, several newbies here. And uh, I mean, if you can shout your name, if you give the camera a wave when I give your name out so people who are watching can kind of get used to it. Andrew Fanko, give us a wave, please. Uh, Brendan Curtis, <laughs> Carl Davis, uh, hi Jim Lad, uh, Gavin, Jack, Jack Alexander, who's Jack? Hey. There you are Jack, Jack took four hours to get ready for this, I can, uh, Mike McFarland, <laughs> Scott Kemp, hello Scott, Scott Kemp your name is from now on. Uh, they were the only viewers, now they're here, there's nobody watching. <laughs> Everybody else is very familiar to uh, the local constabularies where they live. Uh, we're going to, have to do a, a special on Blenheim. Uh, Blenheim, we're very close to Blenheim here, so uh, we're looking at Blenheim, the Battle of Blenheim, and peripheral stuff which is in the orbit of that particular kind of knowledge. 20 questions on the Battle of Blenheim. Uh, we have got a medal, we've got a whole medal table and cash table over there behind this camera, uh, and uh, the winner gets a medal uh, for, to uh, add to their collection. Has anybody got the Grand Slam yet? of medals. Nobody's know. got the grand slam okay. yet. Okay. Number one. The Battle of Blenheim was an engagement of which, Michael? The War of Spanish Succession. The War of Spanish Succession is correct. Michael, you get two points. Correct. Next question. Who was the first Duke of Marlborough? First Prince... Chris Curtis. John Churchill. John Churchill is the correct answer. <laughs> correct. Number three. In which city was... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that all shit in Austria or all yeah. shit in Liechtenstein? Yeah. <laughs> Vienna, I'm afraid not. Ashton, listen to this. Get used to this sound, everybody. Wrong. I'm a stupid teacher. In which city were the treaties concluded to finish the War of the Schrott? Uh, Utrecht. Welcome to Lightspeaker. Come on, put your hands together for Scott. You're the man. You can put the back hand you now, you've always got it. It's one in the tank for you. Scott, you're down here. You're in alphabetical order, so I've got a bit of getting used Correct. to it. Correct. Uh, you trek. Let's finish this. Johnny Foreigner, that's a collective name for Johnny Foreigner, <laughs> gives the name of which town in the district of Dillingen, situated near the banks of the Danube River, to the Battle of Blenheim. Ashton. Hoxter. Hoxter, you have not looked at this. Strange, <laughs> very specific knowledge that I would have. <laughs> you're on one, you're in joint fourth place. Uh, no, you're in solo fourth place. Uh, yeah. Name the French Commander-in-Chief. Oh my God, Michael. The Duc de Tallard. Yeah, it's another name as well, wasn't it? Duc de Tallard. Uh, and, Amit, you were there as well. You knew this, didn't you? Uh, Michael, I think you're going into the lead there. Correct. <sighs> On what date was the battle? Oh, you were slow there, Ashton. What is it? Uh, the 4th of August, 1704. Minus one. Uh, this is a lovely thinking time for you all, Alan. <clears throat> Wrong. On what day? Uh, sorry, uh, Amit. 13th August, 1704. Yep, 13th of August, 1704. Julian It just chips off the tongue so easily that day, doesn't it? Everybody knows it. Yeah. Uh, on what date was the Battle of Blenheim one of the turning points of the War of the Spanish Succession? What is being described here? Kingdom, Plantae. Division, Magnolifita. Class, Magnoliopsida. Order, Rosales. Family, Rosaceae or Rosa S C E A. I'm afraid not, Chris. That's minus one for you. Wrong. Uh, Rosa C A I. C E A I. Subfamily Maloidae. Genus Malus. Variety Blenheim Orange. Simon. Blenheim Rose. Um, no, it's not. But I finished the question. Uh, Scott. Orange. No, we <laughs> can see where he comes from. Steve Lacey. Apple. Yep. Boom. <laughs> you can go. Correct. 
Please tell me. Where might one find the 41 metre high column of victory overlooking an avenue of elms leading to the... Kiskirtis. Running Palace. Leading uh, uh, to the stately home planted in the positions of troops fighting a namesake battle. Chris, that was... It's just up the road from me, so yeah. I don't know, really. Yeah. It's been four Correct. miles that way. I hope you're all <laughs> extraordinarily frustrated by that one. That was kind of the design of it. Uh, uh, who's in the lead? It's uh, Mike McParland on four still. Which village did not host three days of peace and music? I'm it. Woodstock. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Between oh, August the 15th and 18th, 1969, yeah, yeah. for an audience of more than 400,000. That has been the home of Blenheim Palace since the 18th century. By the time we got to Amit... Correct. You're in the joint lead. Come on, dude. Uh, that's a Woodstock question. Whose childless death in November 1700? Ashton. Charles II of Spain. I can't get you on that, can I, at all? You've got it every which way but right. I'm not sure I just said Charles, according to your rules this morning. Charles II of Spain is correct. Lightspeed quiz rules for newbies. If you just mention a king's name and no regnal number, you automatically assume it's the first one. I really want to shaft him. In a quizzitive sense, okay. Uh, Seventeen hundred triggered the War of Spanish Succession. Seventeen oh and seventeen fourteen, it was Charles II of Spain. Please tell me the will of Charles II of Spain named which sixty. You cheating, cheating <laughs> get. Just give me the point. Go on. Chief you. Uh, can you give me any more on that? No. Please. I can't. I beg you. Let me have a look at that. Louis the something's grandson, wasn't it? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it because I prompted you and so you don't don't lose you don't lose anything. How kind am I that my worst enemy um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna get the point to that. No <laughs> point. The, the, the question, the question continues. Like, oh, the will of Charles II of Spain named which 16-year-old is his successor? Grandson of Louis the uh, the Fourteenth and Charles's half sister Maria Theresa, and catalyst for the War of Spanish Succession. Uh, Simon. Charles Bourbon Duke. Of no, we're going to cut this one out. It's Philip V of Spain or Philip of Anjou. There were loads of Dukes of Anjou. You can't just pluck one out of you know you can have twenty of them and needed a regnal number. It's not going to be Geoffrey Plantagenet. I can see I'm not going to win this. No. <laughs> <laughs> you probably still will. You, if you wait for the question to end and then you buzz and you, you still leave. No, you, you, don't you don't can you basically don't. come all over the screen. You're good to go. Please tell me which which are we all are we all green? Come on, Scott. Which architect is credited? <laughs> I mean, ah, John Benbrook. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's going in the lead? <laughs> Amit Day. Uh, where were we? There we go. Hey. Oh, sorry. Uh, bidding. Bidding. Correct. Yeah, listen for that, please. Listen for the correct on your scores. Uh, John Van Bre uh, Castle Howard and Blenheim Palace. Elected in 1658, who ruled the Holy Roman Empire until his... Amit? Leopold. Yeah. You, Leopold is sufficient. <laughs> <laughs> there was only one Leopold, I believe, anyway. So Leopold is correct. Amit, you are miles in front. Correct. Number 14. What two-word name was given to the coalition formed on the 20th of Amit. Grand Alliance. That's a hat trick as well, come on. Correct. In addition to stealing our jobs and taking our women, winning our quizzes is going into a list of <laughs> unread to bad oh, yeah. people from coming into England, Brexit. <laughs> hey, join in Gary Grant, we're on your side. What two <laughs> what, what two word name was Grand Alliance, yes. I'm so excited. What was the de facto capital of the Holy Roman Empire? Ashton. It was this time. Vienna the first of Austria. <laughs> Correct. You're not actually not you're in second place, Ashton. Unbelievable. 
1886. Who was born on the 30th of November 1874? Two months. Brendan. Winston Churchill. It was. Two months prematurely in a bedroom in Blenheim Palace, Woodstock. Oh, for, uh, oh, 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 <laughs> Brendan Curtis. You're on the board. Isn't it nice to be out of the pack of losers who are having a story? <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, I suggest we ping him up at the back. <laughs> yes, Scott, I'll let you off this one. <laughs> That's got a mulligan. Okay. okay. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, how many whole thousands died at the battle? Amit. 38,000? No, that's a minus point for you, Amit, I'm oh. afraid. Oh, boom. Wrong. Uh, how many whole thousands died at the Battle of Blenheim? Uh, Chris? 26. Michael? 45. Ashton? 32. Simon? 13. Vince? 18. Scott? 8. Carl? 23. Steve Lacey? 27. Andrew? 37. Gaster? Gaster. You're Gaster. <laughs> 28. Uh, Brendan. 36. No, no, no. Is it around no. 60? 60. Uh, it's, it, it only goes to 12 here, so is anybody else pressed? Can anybody else go? It, it was 10, 10, 000, 10, 8, I think. Oh. 10, 10, 5, 4, 2. Ten five four two. <laughs> I should have saved it for a catch up question at the end with 30 points. Please tell me. Uh, number 18. Three to go. Bloomsbury, Teddington, Thormanby, Doncaster, Ayrshire, Blenheim, Watling Street, Charlotte Town and Camelot have all won what? Michael. The Derby. The Derby, yes. Oh, oh nice one. Uh, Mike McPartland gets the two points. Correct. Moving right along. Rejected by Louis the... For, uh, 14th for service in his army, named the frog who, on behalf of the Habsburgs and in partnership with the Duke of Marlborough, secured victories. Ashton. Eugene. Yeah, I'm going to give you that. Really? Prince <laughs> Eugene of Savoy. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. Of course he <laughs> Ashton. Eugene O'Neill. <laughs> Correct. Eugene Oregon. Uh, uh, is it pronounced Eugene? Eh? It's probably not pretty good. It didn't say that on Wikipedia. What if it, it, depends. it depends on which part of the world you're in. It could be Elgin. Thanks for sharing that with us. Moving right along. Uh, I'm going to sort you by score and see that Andrew, Carl, Gavin, Jack, Simon. Simon hasn't scored! Boom! You need nine pints inside you, pal. Uh, Steve Kidd, he won after nine pints last month. Uh, Vince O'Connor, you haven't scored. Steve Lacey on two, Scott Kemp on two, Brendan Curtis on two, Chris Curtis on three, Mike McPartland on six, Ashton Davies on six, Amit. Press and neg now. <laughs> uh, please tell me. All agree? Yeah. Can you say who was King of England, Scotland and Ireland at the time? Chris Curtis. I'm not going to give you it. King. <laughs> Michael. No, you can't, because we had a queen. Yeah. Democracy in action. Who thinks Chris Curtis should get the points there? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. One, two, three, four. I'm taking the rest of you of Neg, so these people I'll hate you, including Ashton. Chris, I'm going to give you two points there, yeah. but the answer was technically no. You spoiled the joke. <laughs> well done. Uh, so, uh, Chris Curtis. I just thought it was an ineptitude on the part of the question writer. Right. Why oh, on earth would you imagine just... there was any of that? Uh, so, basically, Chris, uh, you, 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 you didn't leap anywhere into no, fourth place no, there. No, no, uh, Mike McPowell is on six, Ashton Davis on six, although you were unlucky. Uh, moral victory after really fishing around on Eugene and. Oh, a duke. A duke <laughs> was there. Uh, <laughs> Amit Day was not allowed to have him give him a round of applause. Uh, yeah, the, the first light speed quiz will be going up, uh, I think, next Monday, if, if you watch this uh, uh, as it re is released. But uh, join in light speed quiz sometimes. Uh, just look it up on the internet. Like it. Bye.